What's going on everybody? It's Matt Faircloth from the DeRosa Group. Some folks think that the stock market's the best place to be, and other folks are anti-stock and think that real estate's the best place to be. We're going to hash it out. Today. If you guys like what we do here at the DeRosa Group on our YouTube channel, make sure you guys hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now that we're done that, we're gonna lay it down and talk about the benefits of stocks versus real estate, guys. That's today's conversation. I am an unbiased source. I'm going to represent real estate to bring it in to represent stocks. You guys might know this person. I know no one better. He's been on the trading desk and many, many years of stock experience. And that is the Herbie Francois. Talking about stocks today. Let's go <laughs> yeah, at it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so, do it, man. So is that right? 20 years worth of Wall Street experience? Yes. Bro, one of the reasons why I believe Herbie has an unbiased opinion here, you were not paid necessarily commission based on what your clients invested in or whatever. So you just bore witness and yes. structured deals and absolutely right. right. Why does a financial planner who really represents these things for my financial planner friends out there? I love you guys, but you, my friends are biased to this because your compensation is based on this. Herve, he's going to give us a truly unbiased opinion of Very it, right? much unbiased okay. opinion from my experience and from many other people's experience. And we're going to go tit for tat. I need like a, like a, like a boxing ring or guys, this is a good arena here. We could just, we could just rock him, sock him, robot. Right here. Oh, we can show him the whiteboard. Let's show him the whiteboard. Right cool. So my first, first big strength, liquidity. What I buy today, I can sell tomorrow. Yeah, I'll pay the commission, but that's all right. I'm out of it. CEO might have passed away. A competitor comes in. Amazon says, hey, we're coming into your space. Yeah. Lights out. Hervé's <laughs> right. Real estate is not liquid, and that's one of the great. That's one of the great things that uh, about real estate. So I'll give him that. But okay. here, the fact that real estate's not liquid is a benefit to real estate. Even though real estate uh, prices have gone whoa yes. up a lot, you know, 15, 20, 30 percent. Here's the thing: mm -hmm. lots of stocks go up 15, 20 percent in, in what a month? Yes, in a month. Right? Sometimes the fact that real estate going up 15, 20 for 30 percent in a year right. is a conversation. Yes. Right. So real estate is way more steady right. of price points. Of the reason why real estate's a steady price is I can't panic sell real estate. You you, you think you can. But you can't sell it the way you can panic sell this. Real estate's not going to do what the stock market does and crash and drop 20% in a day. It might drop 20% over a long period of time, but I can't say, oh, real estate's starting to look a little shaky. I'm going to sell that duplex and I'm going to liquidate it tomorrow. Real estate's a steady price and that's because it takes months to buy, that's months right. to close. Yes. Yeah. What do those months of time shake out for liquidity Without emotion yes. fomo on the high side <laughs> fear of getting your butt kicked on the downside that's right, right? that's right yeah that liquidity is good in stock because i can get my money back out that's i right. can get in i can day trade we like the volatility you know? we that's like right. the volatility that's right right i can't play volatility as no, much exactly here. right you cannot you swing can it around. wholesalers that kind of thing say well i can play volatility you can, but right. not like you can here. No, okay. absolutely right. What's Amazon stock worth today? Well, I'll go my phone. It's worth, you know, $1,427.97. That's what it's trading for. What's your house worth? As much as Zillow and Trulia and the online apps might tell you what they think it's worth, it's really hard to tell the true valuation of it. And the only reason why stock pricing is so spot on and it's right. transparent what's going on is because you got so much volume. The only way I know what my house is worth is by the three or four people that are willing to buy it and they make different offers. Right. That's my value is right. what the market will bear. Right. If I own Amazon stock, I put it up for sale. Millions of people are buying and trading Amazon stock at any given time. Exactly. So it's very easy to determine what a stock's price at. Well, what's it trading at right now? Right. Oh, these last 4 million people that bought right. the stock paid $1,437.22, exactly. right. Exactly. right? So that's what it's worth. That's right. That's, I got a lot of data right. and audited financial statements. And it's the audited financial statements that give me a level of comfort when a company goes ahead and they report to current and like, okay, this is what our revenues were, these were our costs, this is what our net income and our balance sheet and so on and so forth. You ready for my volley? Yeah, I, I can't wait to okay. twist All right. this. Yeah, Let's yeah. see how you I'm split not going to twist that. I'm All not, right. I'll tell you, I got one you can't, you probably could argue with me on, but I'll go for it. And that is, I've got market diversity. Exxon and another one, BP, right? Yeah, Exxon and BP, they absolutely. They tend to right. drag competitors tend to drag each other down because Absolutely. industries are viewed as a full sector. Well, right. Exxon's having problems, and you know, then the other like all oil tends to move the same direction. All healthcare tends to move yes. the same direction <clears throat> in stocks. Now, although 
these real estate markets are affected by the same global figures like interest rates and things like that. That's right. If San Francisco experiences a slowdown because rents went up a little bit or whatever, it's not going to affect LA. Aside from the global forces that affect all real, all, all things like interest rates and mm -hmm. things like that. Market diversity. That What I mean by that is that I can put all my eggs in a market's basket. And I can, if I want to benefit from an uptick in oil and gas, I can invest in a market that benefits from oil and gas, like Houston. Right? right, I can still benefit from real from the the stock market changes that may happen by investing in markets that are influenced by that. Right, I can also, uh, if I think Airbnb is going to be a big thing, I can invest based on trends I see. But what happens a couple towns away likely won't happen in my market, good and bad. But I can really have diversity and compartmentalize my investment with real estate. Okay. Okay. What do you got? All right. All give me, right. Give me a few more. Back. Come on. All right. I got a whole. Oh, I you got. You got a slew. I might need another whiteboard. You're not going to need another yeah. one. Yeah. You're not going to need another one. Let's Come on. Go. Come, Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that. I don't need to create a market when I'm buying and selling stocks. The market already exists. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's obviously, especially if we're talking about large cap stocks like the mm -hmm. Microsofts and Amazons of the world the mid cap stocks, maybe not the micro cap stocks where kind of trades by appointment, there's not a lot of liquidity, but definitely for your large and mid cap stocks. I may lose out on my trade, whether I'm buying mm -hmm. or selling, but there is going to be a market yes. for my trade. Because your market is more established. I think. It's much more established, it's that. more and more widespread. I can trade right I'll here on the app on my phone. Right. I'm good to go. I shall not debate right. that. I tried that. Good luck selling your 200 unit Touché. on your phone. And although there are stock investments that will give some of this to you, there is no stock investment that I've ever seen that gives you the level of tax advantages oh, that real estate gives you. you really had Boom! To, you, really you knew it was there. coming. You, you knew it was, was coming. coming. I went there. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. Real estate delivers a phenomenal um, depreciation benefit, cost yes. segregation studies. You don't pay uh, all the tax on what you earn. And true. you can play phenomenal tax advantage games in real estate where yeah, there's a little bit, yeah. but it's nowhere near what I can get here. I got one for you. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, go. okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. What do you got? Here. What do you got? Um, very little capital to get started. Ah, oh, then you had to go there. Yeah, I went, I went there. But you're right. You can yeah. buy penny stock. Right. Buy penny stock right now. Listen, you can not only buy a penny stock, I'll tell you what else you could do that we weren't able to do when I was working on the street back in the days. Through an app such as Robinhood, you can buy fractions of shares. So for example, if I didn't have $3,300 to buy one share of Amazon today, I could buy a half a share of Amazon or a quarter of yep. Amazon. I will give you that, that, okay. it, that for you know 10 bucks you can buy a stock. That's right. I can leverage real estate oh, because oh, it oh. sticks in bricks, baby. Yes, All right? right, I can put liens on this. And the reason why I can leverage it is because of this. Because yes, I sir. can't move, I, I, this is steady price. The That's reason right. why they will let you leverage real estate is because it is no, it, is, it sticks in bricks, it's a hard asset, right. you know. Right? right, and so because it's a hard asset that has been market proven over hundreds of years, right. that it's not going to go this tomorrow and this today. Right. Da, 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 da. So because of that, banks will let me borrow against it. That means I can buy a hundred thousand dollar property and lay twenty grand down. It does take more money to get involved in real estate. He's right, and then we got to give him that. I'm coming up with the big R word. Oh, regulation. Oh, I don't know there. what goes on in that there. side of the world. There. Not enough there's 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 groups in the no, world. No, 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 no. We are the yeah. only one transforming lives. Everyone yeah, else is tra yeah, destroying yeah. lives on I, that side. Because I, I have a comment on that one, okay. and I don't disagree with you. What do you mean by regulated market? What I mean about regulation in the stock market is there's a lot of rules um, and there's a lot of policies put in place really to protect you, the consumer, the buyer and the seller of stocks. So there's a lot, a lot of regulations in regards to how much you can trade, the rules of trading mm -hmm. at market open, market close, and so on and so forth. Make sure that you're not getting uh, messed up on your order being filled. You, are, you have a lot of scrutiny on your numbers. This isn't all squeaky clean land. There are people that cook their books and there are companies that have gone under for lying and stuff like that. But the probability of that happening here versus happening here yes, is a whole cool. nother world. Yes. This is like a wild, wild west. <laughs> it is. And although there is regulations yeah, on real estate, and the SEC more. is involved over here, the, regu the level of scrutiny, and I think it's changing, and I think that this is gonna start to look more like this yes. under the regulation world, as more and more people are able to buy real estate on their phone, so I think these, this will normalize. But for now, everybody's absolutely correct. Your probability of getting swindled or told that something's gonna do this, and it ends up doing this, is, 
very, very far and few between on a relative basis here yes. than it is here. Real estate is tangible. And here's what I mean by that. Tangible, and not just that I can reach out and touch it. Yes, I can reach out and touch it, sticks and bricks, and it's I can't reach out and touch Microsoft. I can use their product, sure. I can use an Amazon product, but it's very hard to actually see and touch and feel and smell and experience my investment. With real estate, you can. You might not choose to, but you can. Right. Although I've got regulated financial statements and everything like that, but for a well-run asset that's very transparent, I can look through it and see exactly how it's doing. Here's what the financials are doing, here's how much cash flow it's making me, here's what it's not making me, whatever it is. And I can manipulate it and change it and say, oh, I probably should raise rents, or I should probably refinance that property, or right. I should probably sell it. That tangibility of it, that I can control it and reach out and touch it, allows me to be more visible on it, touch it, learn from it. Right. And also, I can affect people's lives with it. We at DeRosa Group have sold multiple properties to people that live there. So because it's tangible, I can see it and I can do good with it. Now, you can do good with stock. I can invest in companies that do good, right. but that's several iterations and deviations away from me. Now you guys can put in the comment section of who you think won. Of course, I'm preaching to the choir because we're on a real estate YouTube channel. <laughs> Here's the real thing, guys. And I think Irvine and I would agree on this. First of all, what works for you and your investment goals. If you want something liquid that you can get in, get out immediately, then stock may be for you. So if one of these things here speaks to your inner why and why you want to invest and why you want to build wealth for yourself, then certainly do this. But what I believe is that there's diversification. You should have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Absolutely. Because these are all good reasons. And I'm not saying Hervé's wrong on any right. of these reasons. And Hervé wouldn't say I'm wrong any of this stuff. And Hervé uh, owns stocks and also owns real estate. Just like so, I own stock and own real estate too. A little bit of both. And at the end of the day, it's good from an investment perspective to understand why each of these is a good place for you to live, right? And not live in only one or only the other. Don't forget, guys, in the comment section to write what you think about which one's better, which one's worse. Give, give us your opinions. Give us feedback. Tell us we're full of it or anything we wrote up here. We'd love to hear your feedback. Irvin, give it up. Hey, man. Thanks good for stuff. joining us. If you watch the show, Market Hunter Thursday with Irvin, make sure you guys check that out and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Let's Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great, great profitable week. week. It's going to be like this. Sing. Oh, that's not stocks. That stocks. was Irvin's guy. I that probably lost stocks. like $1,000 right there that I broke a rock and sock and robot. Whatever you do, don't lose your head while investing, yeah. okay? That's not stocks. That was Irvin's guy that fell.